What's up, DIY gang? We back with another video. It's your boy Greg with DIY with the Rich. Yes, up, man. So I'm back on the C10, man. I'm back on the C10, man. I appreciate y'all encouraging your boy, man, from the last video, man. Oh, uh, guess what, gang? Break line came in, man. So today, what we're gonna try to do today, man, we're gonna try to bleed these brakes. See if we can get some breaks for the C10, man, because it's about time, man, that we get the C10 on the road, man. It's been. <sighs> Gotta get my baby back going, man. Gotta get... I've been helping everybody else, man, and so now it's time to help myself, man, and um, get this thing back up, man. So, man, y'all come on with your boy, man. Y'all follow along with me, man. Let me show y'all uh, show y'all the brake lines, the um, stainless, stainless steel. No, they ain't stand still braided, braided brake lines, braided brake line. For sure, y'all that man. But they are tying into the stainless steel brake line right, that man. I put on this. Shirt. So we got the new brake line in. Um, I'm gonna have to figure some kind of way to to secure this, but it do full turn. It full, it do full turn, no rubbing. And I'll show y'all this the old one, just the one that I had. So what I've been thinking maybe i might just get um the a and fitted for this and attach it to that make it break line longer then that way i can scrap it up but right now man she doing what she do man she doing what she do so uh same way on this side and see we got the break line in it's going under there i'm gonna reroute this one like i did the other side and uh like i said both sides uh, look good, man. Look good. So I'm uh, probably gonna get my daughter to come out here, help me. So I'm gonna get the back end. I'm gonna get the back end jacked up. I'm gonna take the tires off the back end um, and get this thing off the ground. Then I'm gonna bleed it, bleed it from the back. I'm gonna, um, hopefully, man, the master cylinder and all that stuff still good um, on this truck. Should be still good, but anyway, if it ain't good, we'll handle that. We'll handle that. But I'm gonna get the hood off and uh, get out, get those lines tightened up. Then we're gonna get the truck up in the back, get the wheels off, and uh, I'm gonna go from there, man. All right, mm -hmm. y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, gang. So, so man, right now we got the brake, got the front brake lines in. Got all that done, everything tight. I have not put any fluid in, in the reservoir yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get the back of it jacked up, get it on the back on the jack stands, and then I'm gonna take the tires off so I can bleed it. So I can show you how you how you bleed these trucks. Pretty simple, all right? I'm thinking about having the truck lower, man. Hot. Um, where you gonna put stuff in? Where you gonna get the phone through? Alright, that's got a spot game. That's how that is. Get that mother dog on the speech and went all the way down. Uh, guess what we'll do, gang? We're probably gonna have to wind up. Leaving the jack on there, take the towel. Or maybe I need to go and take the towel for now. Let's do that. Go and take the towel.
don't think it might be his break. <laughs> Be you a brand new game. <laughs> but hey, it's all good, man. It is all good. I ain't that down. I see that rust don't play good. I ain't that down, see. See how far it goes. Now, that might bring it up a little bit more. Oh, uh, disclaimer. If you don't know what you're doing, I'm gonna do this at home. Alright, right, gang, so I'm gonna go ahead on. I'm gonna get this other side off, man. Got the truck up, as y'all see, got the truck on, jack stands. So, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna try to go ahead on and put the brake fluid in it, right? So, go ahead on. Hopefully everything is good, everything work out fine. We're gonna get the brake fluid, and put it in the front and the back. I'm gonna fill it up. So as you see, we got the brake fluid in. So now what we're gonna do, um, you now you breathe your brakes, you want to start from the furthest part, furthest um, wheel it's away. It's a whole new system, so it's, I'm pretty sure you got plenty of air in it. So first thing we're going to do is try to get the brake fluid in the line. If you have problems getting your brake fluid to come out your lines, what you can do, you can um, you can open all your lines up, pour your brake fluid in your master cylinder, and just let it sit maybe overnight until you start seeing it trickle out the brake line. That way you know um, it's, you can got most of the air out of the system before you get ready to go. Um, right, so we're on the passenger side brake line. All right, on um, brake side. All right, Mario. Um, as you see, do I'm gonna loose, loosen that up a little bit. Mario, hit your brakes. Push your brakes down. See if we get into action, man. Death pump, death pump your brakes. Alright gang, y'all know this is new baby, this is like a new baby. Alright. Is it going all the way down? Alright gang, so, so we're not getting anything out of there at this moment, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bleed the master cylinder. Bleed the master cylinder first. Let's see what we got. So our fluid hasn't moved yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bleed this line, get the air out of here first, and then we're gonna go to the back again. Alright. Alright gang. So man, oh, we had some we had some issues. Um, I guess when I put all this stuff together, you know, and I was fitting everything, I had a bunch of fittings that weren't tight. So we had a bunch of leaks. We had a bunch of leaks, man. So we got the leaks. Um, the ones I seen, we got them tight. So right now, got my daughter in the car, and what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, do first? first. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bleed it at the um at the master cylinder. So I got I just put fresh some more fresh fluid in there and I'm gonna bleed it. And I'm gonna have my daughter to pump the brakes. Say hey. I'm gonna have her pump the brakes and what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to bleed it from here. So first thing I'm gonna do, like your big line, your big line on your master cylinders for your front. Small one is to it's your back. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I am going to find get you a good set of um 
uh, wrenches that are made for this. And uh, let's see. All right, so I got that broke. And I'm gonna get her to start pumping. All right, Mara, go ahead and start pumping. Hmm. Make sure I ain't got no leaks nowhere. All right, all right, hold it down. Just hold, hold pressure on it. All right, I seen that. So we gotta let it out of that. Close it back up. All right, pump it. Pump it. All right, hold it down. Just hold it down. All right. Did it go down? Felt like it going down? It went down? All right. That's good. That's good. You seen it go down. All right. It should start getting harder to pump. All right, pump it. Seem like it getting harder. All right, hold it down. All right. All right, so I'm gonna do the front one. All right. All right, pump it. All right, hold it down. We ain't gonna get nothing out of that. Very little. All right, so I know, I know on the front brakes we getting fluid all the way through, uh, cause I had to come out the, actually out, out the line on the other side, so I know it's going all the way through. So I'm gonna get you to pump it again, pump it again. All right, hold it down. All right, there we go. All right, gang. So right now we got the um. Uh, we got the mass cylinder pretty much bled. So right now, hopefully with that bled, the mass cylinder bled, I can be able to get some action um, on the back, on the, we're gonna go to the back passenger side of the truck, try to get some action on that. See if we get something in there, um, get some fluid flowing through the back. So like I said before, y'all know all these lines are brand new, stainless steel lines. So I don't think they had them out. So we're gonna try to get to that and uh, see can we get some action, man. Y'all come on with So we're on the pet side, we're gonna try this again. Alright. Get it now. Y'all see the screw? Bleed the screw. And I think that is a that's a, a 10, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, Mar, um, uh, pump the brake. Let's see if we can get some action, y'all. Lord, I hope we get some action. How I feel? It's hard. Okay. All right. Hold it down. Still ain't getting in. Still ain't getting up to the back. Nothing. Okay. That ain't good. We're not getting anything to the back. All right. I'm gonna try the other side. See. We getting anything to the back. All right, more pump for me. All right, so we're on the driver's side now. All right, hold down. All right, gang. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. All right. All right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the front. I'm gonna go to the front. Uh, let's go to the passenger side of the front. Let's see if we get anything over there. So nine times out of ten, gang, it's gonna be it's gonna either be master cylinder. Um, we need to bleed it some more on the back on the master cylinder. Or it's gonna be my um 
a portion of air down there. That right there. Alright, so I might have to let it on. I might have to open up the lines and let it on. Let it gravity feed. So we're gonna try this front one. Let's see. Oh man. Alright, Maury, pop it. All right, hold it down. Woo! Man. Oh yeah, we got action. We got action on the front. Did it go down? All right. All right. So we know that side is good. All right, so we're gonna get on this side. Let's see. All right, more pump it. All right, hold down. Woo! Yes, sir. Oh, you get some air now. All right, pump it. All right, hold down. All right, on these trucks, you do have a union in the middle of the truck. You do have a union. Uh, I say it's about, about right here. So about right here on your truck behind the cab, you should have a union. Make sure you're getting, we getting on um, fluid through the union. And then, I'm trying to think. You got that hose that's on the, on the differential too. And, you know, that's the only hose that I did not change. But it comes, it comes down here goes to that hose then it split out so the only thing i can think of man if i open up that hose and i got fluid at that hose that mean that hose is bad because everything else is brand new stainless steel uh, so with that said i am going to have to right, do some more digging. So up on the truck man and i want to show y'all what i'm talking about all right so y'all look there we go. So that's the union. Let me see if I can turn some light on. Hold on. There we go. All right, gang. So as you can see, that thing got rusty. Hmm. So right here is the line that's going forward. And this line, that line goes to the proportional valve. So if I got, if I got fluid here when I take this loose or fluid there I might not take this loose I might take this one loose but I got fluid going through this union I know I got it going all the way down to right there with the arm um, where it go from both sides so I know if that's the case my problem is probably going to be um, that rubber hose that rubber hose gang so I'm gonna get up on here. I'm gonna pull this a loose and I'm gonna see what we got. All right. All right, gang. So I got, I got my own um, wrench on there and I was able to break it loose. Let's see. Open it up a little bit. Let's see if I can do this. If I can get some, Lamar, press the uh, push the brakes. All right, all right, all right, it's good. All right, gang. So we got we got fluid right there at the union, so we know we good to the union, gang. So I'm gonna get this tightened back up. All right, get that tightened back up. Yeah, we gonna keep on going, man. I got a I got a funny feeling, man, that the issue gonna be rubber holes that jump from this side to that side so that's what I'm thinking it's gonna be man matter of fact I'm gonna try to zoom in right there right there in that little union there it jumps so that little hole let me show y'all the hole see if I can show y'all that hole's right there I think 
game. That might be the corporate game. Alright, alright, I'll be back. I'm back in the back. So I got it loose here. And I got it loose on the other side. And I am not getting nothing. Pump it, Maury. I am not getting nothing. So gang, it look like I am gonna have to find a hose. And from what and I hear, man, oh, that hose is extremely hard to find. It's hard to find for these trucks, so I am gonna have to figure something out, man. Oh, I'm gonna do some little research. <laughs> and do a little research to see what I can figure out, man, to get the back brakes done. Oh, shoot, man, I might even, and I might take it off long bit. It's a long bit, because I know the back brakes working. I might take that off, man. But um, we'll see, we'll see. All right, man, y'all see, right, y'all so, As y'all see, man, I got the bed of the truck up, and I put back, put my lines back in, because I know these lines good, man, but let me show y'all. All right, so right here, let me turn the light on, see how I can see. So right here is where the hard line come in. Um, and then it goes through that rubber line and then it splits right there going to east side. So we should do a little troubleshooting. So I am going to I am going to break this one line, this line, and I'm gonna see if we get anything out of this line. If we get it here. Which we know is in the union. If we get it here, we know that there's possibly, and we don't get it, if we don't get it there, which we know we're not getting it there because it'll be coming out the sides. We know that this is our corporate. So let me try to can I get this loose? Just loose enough. Where I can see if we get anything new coming out. So, okay. Alright, so I am going to get my daughter to come and press the brakes. And if we can fluid out of that, we know we're not gonna be able to finish the um, back brakes because I gotta find this hose. Mari, uh, pump the brakes for me. So, doing a little, little troubleshooting here. All right, all right, it's good. All right, gang, so we got it. We got it there. We got it there. All right, gang, so I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna close this up so I know that this guy here is going to be the corporate. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find a hose for this. And I've heard people, cause I had people ask me when I did, when I did my, my um, when I actually did my brake lines, people was inboxing me asking me, hey, did you change off that line uh, that go over the rear diff? And I said, no, because I cannot find it. And um, LMC don't have it. They don't have it in the catalog. So um, I'm gonna try some other places and see what the deal is, man. So they kind of put a stop to the video, man. But y'all guys, y'all was able to see how to troubleshoot your brakes. Um, a lot of time, if you can't, if you're getting, if you're getting fluid through that hose and you're not getting it up to your calibers, a good um, trick of the trade is you can open up your lines and just let it gravity feed from the master cylinder. And then when you see when you see it dripping, you know most of the iron got out. But um, man, that look like that's probably gonna be it for the day. Um, it looked like this is a good stopping point, man, for me to start working on that tank to get the filler neck in, man. Let me show y'all the filler neck. Show y'all the filler neck real quick. This is the new filler neck. I got this guy, and it's gonna it's gonna be flush mount in the bed. So pretty soon, gang, we're going to be. It's all the hoses and stuff that came with it. Scrap. So pretty soon we're gonna be on um, drilling out the bottom of the bed. We're gonna put that in. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Pretty cool deal doing that. Alright. 
All right, man, but man, sorry y'all didn't get to, um, we didn't get to actually crank this thing up and see if she stopped and everything on the own. But give me a little bit more time, gang. A little bit more time, and I believe we going to get it. So, man, I appreciate y'all checking in with me one more time, man. As y'all see, I'm starting back on the build. I'm fit to get more motivated. I done got more motivated. So, I'm gonna try to get out here, get this done, and uh, hopefully, man, for I want to be able to dry this thing for December. For December, I want to be able to dry this thing. So, putting the pressure on myself, man. I'm putting the pressure on myself. So anyway. But anyway, man, y'all like, subscribe, share, hit that thumbs up button, man, hit that notification bell for you, boy. And um, like I always say, man, my favorite scripture, Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who screened me. And so can you, man. All right, man, we out.